Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that he was looking forward to his visit to Bahrain where he will hold talks with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, stressing that his visit will deepen Bahrain-India relationship across sectors. In a statement, Modi said ahead of his visit to Bahrain that he will be visiting the kingdom from August the 24th to the 25th, which will be the first ever prime ministerial visit from India to Bahrain. The Indian Prime Minister expressed hope to discuss with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister ways to further boost bilateral relations and share views on regional and international issues of mutual interest. He also highlighted that he will be meeting His Majesty the King and other leaders. He also added that his visit will be an opportunity to interact with Indian diaspora and that he will be present at the formal beginning of the redevelopment of the Temple of Srinathiji, the oldest in the Gulf region, in the wake of the auspicious festival of Jan Mashtami. ASA Cultural Center organizes an event dedicated to teaching children through experiments and virtual learning. More details on this report with Sarah Elbrick. Isa Cultural Center finished a two-day summer exploration activity for children, where they can learn about science experiments firsthand. Be an explorer for children is, a, is like a venue for exploring and bringing creativity into the grounds of Isa Cultural Center at an early age for the, stu for the children, actually. Because the library, children's library, supports all these uh, activities, in fact, through books, but not just books. You have to use also other resources, such as uh, experimenting, uh, game uh, playing, uh, all these kind of activities we would like to support. But this activity, in, in, in particular, the bee explorer for the uh, children. This is exploring a lot of uh, information that would be considered in the, in, the, in the field of games. They would like, children like to explore, like to experiment, but under supervision, it will be a lot better and of course uh, safer for them. So this environment that's been created like for this, uh, this in event, in these two days actually, yesterday and today, um, we, we had more than 150 uh, child. Exploration is a primal instinct in all human beings. It starts in childhood when we find a passion for finding out how things in nature actually work. Slugs and insects are only exciting and interactive toys. We put the milk and then we put the calories inside the plate. And then we put, uh, we put, uh, we put in it uh, Sabun, and then we put it on the plates, and and now uh, it uh, it will become too much colors with the on the plate. It will damage, and we can know how to make it. This one, my first time I make this one. How about light bulbs? How do circuits work? These are things that are learned better in a practical way, not from books and papers alone. It went uh, from uh, exploring how to uh, how a volcano erupts, and uh, actually not the real volcano, but with uh, certain uh, certain uh, elements that are safe for children. Children, robots, how to use robots, uh, how uh, to mix colors. Uh, they would see the colors in motion. How to have the colors mixed and move in oil, for example, or in milk. Uh, exploring things kids love to do in their, you know, daily life, in the kitchen, or maybe bothering their moms or their dads, and uh, they would like to do this, playing with sand, and they would like to do these things. And this is the space and the place for them to explore and find out what happens if they mix this and that, you know, and find what elements that would come out and output. This adds more uh, creativity to them and adds uh, the, 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 the adventurous sense to uh, their, uh, while growing up, you know, and that's, that's part of the uh, educational uh, objectives of Isa Cultural Center. This is Sarah Brick reporting for Bahrain International News.